turkey on it! Mauro! Settled in, getting stuff organized. Hopefully we can relax here for a few minutes and then up and out and bright and early tomorrow. See you then. We got up nice and early this morning. Uh, drove down to some public land that we've been looking at for a couple years. We just never really needed to come out here. Decided we were on to spend the day out here. So just started hitting all our spots here in the early morning. Man, we heard gobbles about every spot we stopped. So we're super excited just to be around some turkeys. Hopefully they keep gobbling when they fly off the roost. We're getting geared up, we're gonna jump in the woods. Try and work all this land today. We're just gonna try and see who's fired up. And if they ain't, we're gonna move on. Keep looking for them. So hopefully we can find some cooperative turkeys put on the show for us. But yeah, we're, we're pumped. It's good to hear. So stay tuned. Rather me do that and block the whole goddamn road. All right, we're gonna have to move out, get them trees. And so what are we doing? Keep your eyes peeled. We've been working all this public this morning. Um, after we kind of heard them on the roost this morning, just been driving around trying to find birds, um, get them to fire off, but they don't seem to be talking a ton on the ground. There's a tom strutting up a couple of hens in this cornfield back here, so we're gonna slip down these trees. Hopefully get around them and get below them and see if we can coax them back down into the creek or if he eventually comes down if those hens leave. So we're going to slip in there and see what happens.
있습니다. 'Cause we moved in on a uh, bird that we'd seen off the road. Tried to get close, pretty much ran out of boundary on this uh, little piece of walk-in. There's one section of private and uh, public all the way around. He just happened to be in that one section of private. So we got in here, called right at the edge, heard something hammer, and uh, we sat down. And not long after, we had two redheads come in, all excited. They ended up just being Jake's. Um, and they seen something they didn't like or something happened. I don't know if it was the decoy that we got set up or what. They didn't like something and uh, ended up skirting out of here. But a uh, little bit of action, so no complaints here. All right, we're going to pack out of here. There's another bird that we heard gobble in a draw on our way out. So we might go chase him, try and find him. And... Uh, see what we can do. You know. sitting under this tree where we first set up and uh, Hunter and Garrett went off to kind of flank these birds that were laying down in some shade and Craig and I are waiting 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 sure enough we heard a couple uh, a shot so we know uh, Hunter had a couple tags um, so fingers crossed that he got two birds and didn't have to shoot twice at one <laughs> But we're gonna go uh, check it out right now, meet up with them, and see what the story is. Yeah. So. Freaking out. Are you kidding me? Shaking his head. I'm so confused. There's, I thought the long beard was two in front. There was one time in the front, but he saw me around. I was about to shoot him. So I just moved over to the second one. But it must have been the one behind that. So terrible. I uh, saw something running and I got it on film, and then you shot and I jumped. <laughs> I was not ready. 
be happy there. I feel awful. You shouldn't, dude. That was a freaking spot and stock. Dude, I, I don't. How far was he when you shot? Where were you? That burn tree right there. You got the right there? Yeah. And they were on the ridge? Yeah. Shot low. Saw feathers fly, so I ran up. He was over there in the bushes. Something's dead. But he kind of acted like he might get up, so I had to plug him again. I was begging for there to be a beer down there. There wasn't. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, three hours ago, we were just working up this piece of public and we got them in and opened up in all these wheat fields and I mean, it just looked perfect. So, we were just kind of sitting there in a shady spot and Craddy ended up picking up five, six birds working on this hillside and they were kind of working down in. And I, I honestly thought they might be heading to us. They were kind of moving down in a hurry. And, we just saw all redheads. We couldn't tell if there was a tom in there or not for sure from that far off. So we sat up and we waited. I called for, I don't know, an hour maybe. Waited and we were getting hot. <laughs> it was getting real toasty, sitting in the sun. Um, so me and Garrett decided to make a move. We were gonna try and get up in, into this. This is like a little island of trees. Just a little plot of trees right here. There's really no good way to get in. So we worked up on this hill to see if they were in here and we picked them up right here on the end somewhere. We could see redheads all down here while we were out of terrain we couldn't move so and Garrett talked about backing out and looping all the way around jumping on the other side of the train tracks and then coming across this wheat field straight into this tree plot and it worked perfect we got around and we just took our time and we got right in here to the end of the trees and well, we couldn't see anything it's so thick in here all these uh, cottonwoods and just rushing olives and bushes everywhere I mean we couldn't hardly see anything so we just kept crawling and crawling and crawling and crawling and we'd poke up and glass a little bit and couldn't see nothing finally we got in these trees and I was thinking maybe we just need to keep going down this edge we stood up and glassed and sure enough I picked them up back here and we called to them they wouldn't gobble they wouldn't do anything so it kind of looked like they were working their way out so I told Garrett so well I'm gonna try and make a move um it seems like they're kind of leaving so I started crawling into these trees back here and there's three trees I had cover with, at least I thought and I was like man if I can just make it to those three trees I can pop up and blast them well, I was working my way to the trees. I looked up on the ridge and I started seeing them work the ridge. So I just started hopping tree to tree. Finally, I got to this tree and I thought that ridge was going to be close enough to shoot, which it was. Garrett range is a little over 50 yards. And they were working across and I tried to get on the other side of the tree as they were working this way to get a shot. And I know there's two toms in the front. There were six birds total. I think three toms and three jakes. The big tom was in the front and he was kind of working out. I was going to shoot him, but he kind of we're behind the tree so I, I jumped back to the second one which I thought was a tom and I guess I just got confused um, ended up being a Jake but I mean you know it wasn't wasn't what I'm intended on doing but I mean it's a turkey's a turkey uh, we busted our butts crawling in here and put a sweet move on them I just like I said I got confused with all the redheads one separated out I honestly thought that the second second or third tom was right there behind that first one and he wasn't I guess but turkey's down you know I didn't wound him or run off or anything so that's all I really care about and make a good clean shot ran up over the hill he kind of flew a little bit and died down there in the plump that could see him last long so um, yeah I mean turkey's a turkey it wasn't wasn't ideal it wasn't intentional but you know sometimes it happens you make mistakes but like Garrett said at least it wasn't a hen so I honestly thought it was a tom made a good shot and that's all that matters we're on the scoreboard I got another tag and everybody else has got a tag so we got four more birds to go we're on the scoreboard um, I'm gonna try and put a smile on my face and just roll with it I feel feel a little bad but nothing I can do like I said he didn't wound him he didn't run off he's not out there suffering that's a we super got him. Jake too so. yeah it is <laughs> and uh you know we'll eat good on Saturday so that's all there is yeah, to it yeah brother I'll take it dude that was awesome oh yeah Made an oopsie. Made a what? Oopsie. Shot, Jake. I oh. think you were asleep when I when they started running. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we worked so hard. We crawled. So Dude, we far. crawled literally 
from like the edge of those trees all the way to the freaking back. Dude, literally like we were in these Russian like just sliced everywhere. Everywhere. And then crawling up there, dude, there's just goat heads after goat yeah. heads. I'm covered in stickers. Oh my god. We worked our ass off for that little guy. Hey, scoreboard baby. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like when you said I made an Ipsy, I was like, oh, he shot a head. <laughs> you're like, it's a Jake. I'm like, if it dangles, it dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a super Jake, too. I'm so hungry. On public land. I need water. On public land. We're gonna go clean this bad boy out, grab some food, grab water, and keep working this public land in this area which is kind of far away from where we're staying so we're just pretty much spending the whole day here and we'll head back tonight get on some of our our sweet spots tomorrow and the rest of the week and so hopefully we got some more coming